Hello, boy, my name is Wolverine right, Gamer, and welcome back to everybody's going to the rapture. Now, this constellation, I have this a couple of days, and I'm sorry about that. I just forget. I mess up something about their name, I don't want everyone's going to the rapture. I or whatever. But in the last part, we were following the light of India, I think. Something more. Oh. Okay. So, there's an invisible wall. So we won't get off track. Good enough for me. How and I don't know if we're new until the end of this. Getting to the end of this game, but I don't know. What story are we taking now? Right. Oh, the. Some folk won't let go of this, and they've got nothing better to do than to poke their noses into other people's business. There's nothing you can do about it, son. I'm doing a good job. I'm working hard. I swear, Mrs. Graves thinks I'll start nicking stuff if she turns her back for a second. This is all right. She's one of the good ones. Yeah, well, she's not exactly honest with her husband about what she gets up to. None of that. You're angry about people judging you. Don't be so fast to judge others. I'm sorry, Frank. Keep your gob shut, your nose clean, and your head down. Do you think you can manage that? Gob. Nose, head, got it. And steer clear of that Rachel girl. If I've seen you two making eyes at each other, then so's her dad. And you don't want Sam Baker coming round after you. Now, pass me that socket spanner and we'll see if we can get this wheel back on.
for over there. It's not for you to go, but. How best, Graham? Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12-foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless, no. Can I borrow the ladder? No one said you were useless. Reese? Hi, Frank. Fetch Graham the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. Can you see the observatory from there? That's over the ridge, just past the windmill. Oh. You want to live near the station in case you need a quick getaway? Something like that. <laughs> so you and Steven, I'm sensing there's not a lot of love lost there, huh? That's between him, me, and the chaos. You're gonna have to explain that one for me. It's nobody else's business. Look, you seem all right to me. You don't want to worry about that lot in the village. Provided I'm left alone, I'm happy. Stephen's the one who likes to be at the center of things. <laughs> no change there, then. <laughs> Francis Appleton. You are a bad man. No wonder your sister won't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs>
Breaker, Breaker 9, call in on 9. This is Lost Cowboy looking for anyone out there. Hello? Breaker 1-9. Breaker travel in Sherlock. Charlie, you out there? Over. My, my Hello? Family, my my wife and kids. Yeah, I'm perfectly honest. well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. No. Don't you lecture me about no. sacrifice, you, you spineless stupid, little shit. stupid bastard. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. You knew. Wade called me in about six weeks after, once he thought I could cope with knowing. Can I ever repay you for what you did? She was a good woman, Frank. The best. You should come back to church. Back to the community. You're missed. I hate him, Father. I can't get down on my knees and pretend otherwise. And I don't understand why you don't hate him, too. I try my hardest not to, Frank. It goes against the job description somewhat. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. We have to trust him. Even when his methods are hidden from view. Maybe see you on Sunday.
ain't moving now. It's very strange. Under the microscope, you could see how the light was following the cellular structure of its wings. The neurosimplicity of the insect seems to prevent a full-blown infestation, so there's none of the hemorrhaging I'm seeing in the birds. But Stephen's wrong. This isn't an attack. It's a byproduct of the attempt to communicate. It's getting smarter. It's learning as it adapts. I'm confident of a breakthrough soon. You may. I don't know if they're sure or not, but why? I see you guys play. Peace out. <laughs> 